Welcome to Behind the Bars TV. In this episode, we're going to be talking about some of the longest prison sentences ever served in American history. Now, some of these sentences that you will see coming up are extravagant. Some of these fellows have served 70 years in prison. They range from over 50 to nearly 7 or 270 years that they've spent incarcerated. Now, just imagine that getting out of prison after 70 years. Now, take a look here at the top 10 sentences ever served in America. At number 10 is Richard Honnick. So Richard Honnick was an American murderer who served one of the longest prison terms, followed by parole in American criminal history. Honnick was 20 year old when he was arrested in Chicago in September 1899 for the murder of Walter Coella. Honnick and an accomplice named Herman Hundhausen had been arrested earlier that year after a series of fires broke out in the small town of Herman, Missouri. The cops thought they were intentionally set, but for a while they couldn't prove it. Honnick's former high school classmate, Richard, testified against him. Honnick then stabbed Richard to death that year as an act of revenge. Honnick was arrested in September of 1899 after he admitted to killing Richard Coella. He was imprisoned in November 1899. Honnick was released on parole from the Southern Illinois Penitentiary in Chester, Illinois on December the 20th, 1963, after serving 64 years and one month of his life sentence. He had completed his sentence of 23,000 418 days. Once out of jail, the 84-year-old man moved in with his niece for nearly 14 more years. Finally, in 1976, he died at the age of 97. Next in the list is Herons, who was known as the Lipstick Killer. At the time of his death, Herons was reputedly Illinois' longest serving prisoner, having spent 65 years in prison. Herons was a 17-year-old University Chicago student and petty burglar when he confessed to two killings. 33-year-old Francis Brown and 43-year-old Josephine Ross in 1945 and a six-year-old girl in 1946. The child Suzanne Degnan was dismembered and her remains were scattered in Chicago's sewers. Herons' prison term officially began in 1947 and lasted forever. In total, the man served more than 65 years in prison. On March the 5th, 2012, while living at Illinois Dixon Correctional Center, he died at 83 years old from complications arising from diabetes. In the eighth position is Warren John Nutter, 84, who spent his life in prison after he pleaded guilty to killing an officer in January 1956. Nutter, who was only 18 when he shot the 52-year-old cop, Harold Pierce. Pierce was questioning Nutter and four other teens at a sheriff's office about a gas station robbery when Nutter asked to use the restroom. Officials said he then climbed out of an open window, retrieved a shotgun from a car outside and shot Pierce when the officer tried to stop the group from leaving. Nutter was captured three and a half miles away. At his trial, Nutter, who pleaded guilty, was convicted of first-degree murder and became the youngest murderer to be sentenced to death in Iowa. He was also the fifth longest serving inmate in the U.S. prison history. He died due to chronic disease in December 2021 at the age of 84, after having been stuck inside prison walls for nearly seven decades. On to number seven is Sammy Robinson. Born in rural Caddo Parish, Louisiana, Robinson was imprisoned in 1953 at age 16 for aggravated RAPE and was sent to Louisiana's infamous Angola prison afterwards. Robinson was sentenced to 10 years, but after murdering a fellow inmate during his fifth year, his five more years had turned into a lifetime. Robinson passed away at age 83 in, Ang in Angola in 2019. He was the longest serving inmate at the Louisiana State Penitentiary and is still one of the longest serving prisoners in history. 
Johnson Van Dyke Grigsby. Johnson had served 66 years and 123 days at Indiana State Prison from 1908 to 1974 after stabbing a man in 1907 during a poker game. As per Grigsby's, March of 1885 was the month and year of his birthday. From August 1908 to December 1974, he stayed in continuous custody at the Indiana State Prison. He died in a nursing home in Michigan City, Indiana on May 18, 1987. At number 5, Axe Murderer, Walter Bork Jr was convicted of killing a four-year-old girl, Patricia Johnson, and was sentenced to 99 years and six months in prison in December 1955. As per the cops, he killed her because he was afraid she was going to tell someone he'd been molesting her. He was 17 at the time and continues to serve his sentence in prison today. As of now, he has been there for 66 years, coming up to 67 years. Waller is currently the longest serving prisoner in New Hampshire. Up at number four is Joseph Ligon, an American convicted murderer and former prisoner. He was America's longest serving prisoner who was convicted of a life sentence as a minor. More than six decades ago, there were six teenagers and two switchblades. Eight men were knifed, two died. Ligon was convicted of two counts of first degree murder. At age 15, he was found guilty of murder by association and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. After the US Supreme Court ruled in 2016 that all juvenile life sentences without parole were retroactively unconstitutional, he was released in 2021, having spent 68 years in prison. Up at number three is John Phillips, who has been behind bars since April the 8th, 1952, when he was arrested on S assault charges. He was 18 years old and only in the ninth grade, and he was sent to be evaluated at the State Mental Hospital for Black People. The report classified Phillips as a moron and said he had the mind of a child aged seven. His lawyer ended a guilty plea. The judge sentenced him to life. After 66 years in prison, Phillips is the state's longest serving inmate. Decades ago, he lost his desire to live outside of razor wire fences. The second spot has been secured by Paul Gerdal. He was born in 1894. He broke into the home of a retired Wall Street financer. Armed with chloroform, Gerdal miscalculated and suffocated the old man to death during the botched robbery. The murdered man had been close friends with the Manhattan District Attorney. He was quickly caught, arrested and sentenced to serve 20 years to life for the crime. For seconds, Gadel grew up in Sing Sing's prison. By 1980, when Gadel was 86 years old, officials finally felt like he'd paid his debt to society. After 69 years, they paroled him that year and offered him a spot at a nursing home. After seven years, he died in 1987. The number one spot goes to Francis Smith, the longest serving prisoner in the state of Connecticut. In prison for the 1949 Greenwich murder, he was convicted of in 1950 is no longer behind prison walls. Smith, now 97, has been released on supervised parole to the 60 West nursing home in Rocky Hill. Smith was convicted of killing a night watchman at the Indian Harbour Yacht Club on the Greenwich shore. A conviction that observes and legal experts believe he was innocent of. Since that trial ended in a Bridgeport courtroom, he has spent 70 years in the custody of the state of Connecticut. So that people is the longest list of prison sentences in American criminal history. So once again, hopefully you enjoyed the content. And if you are enjoying it, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you would like to see any more videos on these type of topics, let us know in the comment section. Take care for now, everyone. Goodbye.